So, going by the seat of my pants, got a keyboard, a couple of mice. I'm <laughs> gonna try to plug everything in through a uh, USB-C dongle. I hate these things, uh, mostly because I have not found one that works well. Uh, all these Amazon brands, like this is a ming ping ning and it's a terrible product. So I'm not really sure if this will work. I don't actually own a Bluetooth keyboard, which is crazy. All I have are uh, USB ones, so here we go. I'm gonna plug it in. Now, some of you who have probably watched some of the other videos probably think I'm wasting my time. Hey, <laughs> it works. Let's record the screen. I just plugged it right in and hi, I'm a keyboard attached to the new iPad Pro. So one of the things that I kind of realized, even at the time when I was filming this, it was getting kind of late, so I was getting kind of tired, but I seem way too excited about using a keyboard with the iPad and it shouldn't have been that surprising to me because I've been using keyboards on iPads for a really long time. So, yeah. All right, so since we know the USB works, I'm gonna use this trackball mouse because it's great for carpal tunnel. We're gonna see what a mouse on an iPad's like. On, ooh, it's a weird dot. So wired mouse works. I'm curious to know if a Bluetooth one does. And if it does, I'm still gonna play Call of Duty <laughs> with the keyboard. We'll see if this works. No, it's not gonna work. But could you imagine if this actually did work? So if you guys look at Monty, he is very, very uncomfortable. So you guys see him in the videos and he'll sit there quietly, but he really wants off. So he's gonna say goodnight, go. So, mouse and a keyboard. I'm actually really unsure of what to think. To navigate, I still need to use my finger. I'm gonna go grab my Apple Pencil. I don't actually know if my pencil is tethered. The tapping does work. So do I have to like use my pencil like I would like a carpenter while I work? Say I'm making my spreadsheet. Is it like a double click? Do I have to double click stuff? Well, that's kind of neat. It's like if you look at the, the cursor kind of changes to fill in the spot. So let's do income. Non-income? I don't know. <laughs> getting kind of late and getting tired. What other things? Anything different when I do that? That is pretty neat. Like I've never used a Microsoft Surface before. I don't really care to, but not sure I fully appreciate the mouse and the keyboard. Like I understand it's more like a computer now. So I guess, what do you guys think? Apple's kind of going into this, you know, I'm very certain that the MacBook Pro in its current incarnation will probably disappear in a few years. And I'm saying that because I think Apple's trying to get away from using Intel chips. And so they've got these A whatever, 12Z, Z, chips that are on now that's in this iPad that's supposedly really, really fast. And their claim is that it's faster than a lot of laptops out there. I don't know, it's probably faster than my laptop, my 2017 MacBook Pro. So it'll be interesting to see kind of what happens if they're actually gonna combine these two product groups together. You would need a bigger screen. Like, is there gonna be an iPad Pro Plus? Is there gonna be an iPad Pro Max? Probably, you gotta think about it, a bigger screen. This is 12.9, you had 11.7 or whatever, 13 and another inch. That'd be a pretty neat uh, thing. What do you guys think? Leave in the comment section below. I'm, I'll play around with this a bit more. The cursor, it's not like a mouse pointer. It's not like a hand thing. I do love the size of this. This looks freaking awesome. And I've been playing Star Wars through it. The sound coming from this thing, like even when I was playing the Call of Duty, Duty from that game, like the bass coming out the back. Anyways, that's kind of all I got for this uh, video. Short, quick, it's almost 10 on Wednesday, March 25th. So I'll film the camera stuff tomorrow morning, I think, and we'll go from there. This is one of the videos in my COVID-19 uh, series where I'm just producing a video a day. You guys will see a lot more kind of behind the scenes stuff uh, rather than just straight information. So some of you guys might enjoy that more. Um, I will do some more roundups and stuff, but all right, thanks for watching.